building out the wave before we get to the builder figure we have thor in his super duper colorful awesome outfit i love this figure i really do i love it even more so with a little head swap tip that i have in just a moment now i'm really digging this figure i love i just i don't know i'm a big fan of the, the golds and the blues they really contrast against the red cape um again unfortunately it's that sort of weird orange color that hasbro go for with their plastic um so that's probably one little gripe um he does come with a fist hand to sort of switch out with the uh the one that holds stormbreaker but i have haven't misplaced it it's just in a box at the moment of accessories and uh to be honest, i couldn't be bothered looking for it so <laughs> it does come with one switch out hand um obviously stormbreaker here is his weapon and uh yeah he comes with his big helmet um which does look a little bit plasticky but i'm not displaying him with this helmet anyway so that's okay um yeah really nicely done i'm, I'm a big fan of this you know sort of it's about thor finding his, himself again you know he's been in black for a little while that sort of through end game and and infinity war is his outfit was predominantly black and now we sort of see him coming back to form with the sort of brightness probably even brighter than before he's gone for gold instead of the silver um the nice blue again if we had a nice updated sort of green loki that would look great with thor here so yeah i, th I think the head sculpt's nice i like the hair in the back it's sort of a little bit you know, mid-action scene sort of look to it. Yeah, it kind of looks okay when it's posed. But for me, I get the Ravager Thor head. And I've put it on this Thor here. And it fits like a glove. Nice and tight. Perfect swap. And given that we don't really see much of Thor in the helmet in the film, it sort of made sense for him to... Uh, Put this one on and yeah really really looks awesome foursome some might even say see it fits nicely over the top yeah he just he just looks tough you know he just looks powerful I like this sort of hand that's sort of open love that metallic blue that they've used on this figure i think it looks fantastic really nice really nice choice in color I know it's probably probably moulded in that in the bottom there, but you can sort of get really nice reflections um, up the top. Obviously, that sort of painted, that sort of real sort of metallic blue looks good. Like a little bit more of that detail around the figure would be nice, but that's okay. His head popped off. I, it is a perfect fit. There we go. It shouldn't shouldn't pop off now. Yeah, pop off. You know, that Ravager Thor figure, you know, he just got this tough look about him. So for me, this is probably my definitive Thor figure at the moment. I do love that Endgame one. I just wish he didn't have the sort of lit up blue eyes. You know, I know it's very scene specific and it's cool. But uh, yeah, I'm lo loving this one a lot. And he looks fantastic next to um, next to Jane Foster as well. So there we have Thor from Love and Thunder. Love the movie. And uh, next up, we'll take a look at Korg because he's a cool, cool figure. So, all right, stay tuned for that one. And we'll see you then.